Hello dear students, uh, now we have discussed uh, Sir Newton's cradle, that is the experiment that is the Newton's cradle and it is based on the uh, principle of conservation of uh, linear momentum and energy. And you just see there are five uh, steel balls are there <coughs> which are approximately elastic. You know that uh, it is a steel is more elastic than rubber and if you one ball is raised to a certain height. If the one ball is raised to a certain height, then it gains some certain potential energy. If you release that uh, ball, that ball particular ball, release the particular ball, first ball, then that loss of potential energy will be converted to kinetic energy. And this kinetic energy transferred, and this energy will be transferred to, to the different balls second, third, fourth and fifth balls and uh, if this energy will be transferred to the second ball, third ball, fourth ball and fifth ball and the fifth ball will be uh, after a certain time you will just start the release of first ball you just see the fifth ball will raise to the same height as that of the first ball. This is the beauty of the Newton's cradle and uh, which uh, proves the conservation of uh, momentum and energy. You just see he will release the first ball. And this energy will be transferred to the second, third, fourth and fifth. And the fifth ball will be raised to that height as that of the initial first ball. And this is the, and similarly, it just, uh, if the two balls will be taken to a certain height, all the three remaining fixed kept at rest and you will see that observe that the two balls will be displaced if the first two balls will collide with the three balls as this uh, this is the principle of momentum conservation of momentum and energy this energy transport to the this elastic balls this the steel balls are approximately taken to be elastic and the oscillation actually gradually stopped after certain moment because of its uh, damped motions because the, last, the steel balls is not perfect elastic that is why 100% not elastic so that is why that is a loss of energy takes place and after certain time it will come to rest it, uh, this is the beauty of the Newton's cradle if you remove the three balls, you just see if they remove the three balls, alternately two and three will energy will be transferred. Alternately, the energy will be transferred to three balls and two balls, two balls and three balls subsequently. And you just the beauty of the you just see the beauty of the Newton's cradle. It'll, if you remove, you just release the two balls from a certain height after impact will again come back to the same state, same position and the gradually the oscillation will be stopped because of this uh, damp motion and the energy lost because of this uh, because of the property of elastic because it is not 100 percent elastic that is why the energy gradually decreases and damped oscillation will take place and you just see if you remove, it's the beauty of this uh, Newton's cradle, just see, hold it. You know that uh, in case of uh, collision, if the two balls are having the identical mass, if one is rest and, and another is given to a certain energy, then the first ball will be displaced, displaced and the second ball will come to rest. Because the transfer of uh, transfer of velocity, that is the exchange of velocity takes place. You just see the energy gained by the second ball will be same as the energy of the first ball before collision. And this is the exchange of velocity takes place. This is the exchange of velocity takes place in this case. And this is the beauty, 
If the fifth pulse, five pulses are given the energy, then it will be energy will transport, transmitted through the each ball, and again five balls will be displaced. So this is the regarding the beauty of the Newton's cradle, which based on the principle of uh, conservation of uh, linear momentum and energy. Thank you.